Thank Nacho you. Kirk. As a catcher in a major league team, now you have a lot of information coming your way. What are you most pleased about with your growth as a catcher this year? Básicamente, este, como catcher este año, tú sabes que mucha información eh, que tienes que, que recibes tú durante los juegos y todo. Este, ¿Qué es lo más que te ha complacido este año? ¿Dónde más tú has crecido como catcher este año? Bueno, yo creo que, que en el llamado juego no eh, ha sido un año de, de buena experiencia y yo creo que ha sido la, la mayor parte de eso. I had to say on calling the games. Uh, that's where I got uh, the most uh, experience uh, this year. I learned a lot uh, on using all the information, um, and I think I got a lot better on calling the games. You and Alec have a terrific relationship. Who leads the discussion when you're trying to set up a game plan? Do you have an input, Alec have an input, and then you decide what's best for the game plan? <laughs> ¿Quién tiene la decisión al final cuando están discutiendo el plan de trabajo, el plan de ese día, un picheo? Eh, cuando él te dice algo, ¿tú se lo discutes o te vas con él? ¿Cómo hacemos, cómo hacemos para decidir? Bueno, salimos con un plano para cada bateador y, y depende cómo, cómo se vaya viendo en el juego, se van haciendo los ajustes. ¿Y quién decide? Bueno, entre los dos, es una, una comunicación entre los dos. It all, it, it all depends. Uh, uh, the decision is between we, we take, between both of us uh, and it all depends on the, the hitter. It, it the, depends on how the game dictates the plan. If we had to make some adjustments during the game, we will. But basically, we both on the same page all the time. So we, we have a, that great relationship that we can take the decision uh, between us. Go ahead, Dan. Alejandro, was, was the first time you caught Alec at the alt site in 2020? And, and how quickly did the relationship, did the bond grow strong between you two? ¿Qué tan rápido creció la relación de ustedes después que, la, después que lo echaste la primera vez en, en, en el Ursa y allá en el 2020? Bueno, en realidad es algo que, que toma tiempo, no. No es algo que, que se hace de la noche a la mañana. Pero, pero sí, no. De, de, con cada juego va creciendo todo eso y, y bueno, vamos conociéndonos mejor. I mean, like, like you guys know, it's, it takes time. I mean, it doesn't happen overnight uh, having that relationship with a. Uh, with a with a pitcher like Alec, uh, but I mean, thank God. I mean, every every time uh, we out there, we we learn from each other, and uh, the re our relationship right now, it's I think it's it's great. And was it the alt site in where was that Rochester? Is that where? Yeah, in Rochester. Is that the first time that Alejandro caught Alec in 2020? Okay. Rochester. Rochester. Yes. Okay, thank you. Go to Mike. Alejandro, um, how much do you? remember Alex start in Seattle. Uh, we took a shutout into the seventh inning and was pitching really well, gave up the home run to Carlos Santana. What do you take from that, if anything, about going into tomorrow? Hey, you took the game of the pitch of Alex, the pitch of the seventh inning in Seattle, and then he gave the Carlos Santana a home run in Seattle. What can we do? 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 Bueno, no, no, no me acuerdo mucho, no tengo mucha memoria de ese juego, pero bueno, yo creo que, que viendo los videos y, y tratar de no cometer los mismos errores, ¿no? Sabemos que, que estamos en la postemporada y todo puede pasar y fue un jorrón que nos dieron y no, no, no es nada mal. To be honest with you, I don't remember much about that game, uh, but of course, I gotta go back and watch all the videos. And I mean, it's the postseason. Anything can happen, and, and we all got to make adjustments. I, uh, like I say, I got to go back and look the videos. And if we make mistakes on that game, then of course we got to try to fix it and try to execute it tomorrow. And taking it even farther back in the season to April, uh, Danny Jansen gets hurt three games in, and you played basically every day. You caught basically every day for two weeks. How much did that help? what would go on the rest of the season for you? ¿Cómo te ayudó a ti este, personalmente metiéndonos un poquito para atrás para abril cuando se lesionó Llano que básicamente estabas cachando todos los días ¿Cómo tú eso esa, eso, eso te ayudó a ti cachar todos los días y mejoraste? Bueno, nos, nos ayudó bastante ¿no? en la experiencia en, en la relación con los pitchers yo creo que como siempre lo digo no, el juego siempre te va dando la experiencia y, y bueno, todos esos juegos nos ayudaron bastante
Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, getting experience. I mean, every, all those uh, games helped me on that. The relationship with the pitchers, all the pitching staff, it grew. So yeah, the key I think, you know, catching those those games pretty much every day, like you said, it was just getting experience and it helped me out a lot. Hey guys, um, your team's been swinging the bat really well lately. What makes this lineup tough to face for another team in the postseason? Este, este, este equipo, ese equipo como se ve es difícil, un poquito tough. Este, ahora en la postemporada, ¿qué, qué, tú, qué tú piensas? Nosotros. Our team, right? Yeah. El, el equipo de nosotros. Bueno, todos sabemos que es un, es un lineup muy, muy bueno, muy profundo. Tenemos bateadores de experiencia, tenemos jugadores jóvenes que tienen el talento y bueno, en realidad que no es nada fácil ¿no? para otro equipo enfrentar un line de estos. I mean, like I said before, uh, it's not going to be easy. We, I, we, we have a great line We have a deep line uh, experience in the line young hitters with a lot of talent in the line So, you know, I mean, I think we're going to be ready and, and uh, we'll see. But, oh, I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to be interesting. Okay, we'll take our last one here from Gregor. Uh, Alejandro, the, the last time you guys were at the, in the postseason, you had just arrived in, in the major leagues, and I'm sure things were happening very fast for you. What do you remember about that last experience, and how much more prepared are you now than, than you were back then? La otra vez, en el año 2020, fuiste a la postemporada, pero estabas llegando básicamente de nuevo. ¿Qué tú aprendiste de esa postemporada, más o menos en el 2020, y cómo has crecido de esa ahora listo para prepararte para esta? Bueno, ese 2020 pasó muy rápido, ¿no? La postemporada fueron do, dos juegos, ¿no? Fue muy rápido y, y bueno, tratar de salir a disfrutar y, y tratar de competir, ¿no? Es lo único que, que, que espero de este año. I mean, that was too fast. Back in 2020, like, as you guys know, it's just two games. Uh, yeah, but I could say that I learned how to have fun and at the same time go out there and compete. So that's what I'm going to do starting tomorrow. Uh, just go out there, work hard, compete, and just have fun. And Manoa got here basically as, as fast as you did. What is it about his uh, skill set or what is it about his repertoire that's kind of allowed him to, to make this quick transition as well and handle the workload that goes with it? Y más o menos, Manoa, ustedes subieron más o menos un poquito ahí cerca. ¿Qué es lo que tiene Manoa? ¿Cuál es su talento que ha ayudado? Que esa la su reputación ha sido rápidamente en la Grandes Ligas, su ascenso y ha sido un caballo. Bueno, la, yo siempre lo llevo en la manera que él pisa, la manera que, que ataca a los bateadores. Es algo que no se ve en todos los pitchers. I have to say, the, the, you don't see that in, in many pitchers, the way he attacks the hitters, uh, the way he pitches, the way he, I mean, of course, locates everything. I mean, he's like fearless, fearless out there. So, I mean, well, yeah, the way he attacks the, the, the hitters is just different. Okay, thank you, everyone. We're going to turn the room over to the Mariners now. So thank you, Kirky, and thank you, Tito.